Hello there, YouTube. Man, that sun is coming across. It's already doing that, going across the southern sky. It's crazy, the difference, the drastic difference through the seasons. But anyway, it's, uh, I think it's 47, 49. It's pretty cool out here this morning. It was 30 something, My I was half awake when I looked at the little monitor thing. It was 30 something. Um, early this morning and just fogged in. It was just solid fog. You can see everything's damp. Everything's so damp, it looks like it rained again overnight, but I don't know that it did. I think there's supposed to be some chance of rain today, but not much. But anyway, it's beautiful out here now. Although, got a little bit of a bite to it. As you can see, everything's wet. It had to have rained again last night, you know, since we went to bed. But anyway, Let's, uh, let's try to have a good day. Hope you guys do as well. Let's roll. A cool 56 degrees, mostly cloudy. Even though my phone says rain in eight days, it looks like it can rain any moment now. And uh, there is blue out there. Yeah, I just saw uh, gatoring over there. Yeah, that's nice. It's coming. Yeah. So please be nice today yeah. at some point. But, uh, Mama? Yes, I have. We made it Thursday. We did. Yep. We going to be upon us before it's, you know it. Very good. Uh, I guess we should go in there and earn our keep again I today. So. All right, Mama. All right. Have yourself a wonderful day. You too, Mama. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. So, BRP wrote me this extensive uh, instruction sheet on what to test on this thing. And uh, number one was to lock the steering down, which I showed you guys that before. That's this, this whole ordeal here. I don't know how much, I can't see the, I can't see the camera to see if I was pointing at the right thing or not. But anyway, lock that thing down and he wants to see if there's any, any free play in the, <laughs> the right hand wheel. Well, I'll, I'll take the, I took a few, clips with the uh, action 5 pro i'll throw those things in here now so you can you can see what what i'm seeing all the tie rod ends appear to be loose even the crossbar across the top there on both sides. The shaft, even though you can see it in the video moving, it is not, it doesn't have any, doesn't have any free play inside there. It's, it's tight on both sides on the, on the pivots there. And uh, the steering's locked down nice and tight. Very strange at 400 miles that that thing's that loose. Pretty wild, huh? So anyway, <laughs> it's gonna need all the tie rod ends, how this thing at four, I think it's 425, somewhere around there, miles, how all that is as loose as it is, I have no idea. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna send that to them. So it's gonna need, you know, the tie rod ends, both on left and right, and this bar, there's some play in, in this, this one. Uh, the other side seems tight, but yeah, weird thing, so. I'll send that to BRP and let them let them churn on that for a little bit. And, but we're going to have to order the Riker um, alignment kit. We have no choice. So as soon as you touch one of those those uh, ball joints, um, yeah, it's uh, you you have to align it. But, um, anyway, I'll send that to BRP. See what they think. Well, let's take the uh, twenty four. RT Limited with the Healy bars on there and uh, see what I think. This, these are just how I uh, I put them on. I had to make some adjustments here because they were one was straight across and the other one was slightly forward. So I just eyeballed <laughs> I just eyeballed these things and I was flipping through the instructions later to just make sure there's nothing I missed there. There's actually alignment dots in here so that you can make sure they're both the same. Bing, 
<laughs> Must have a good eye. I have an exact. Oh, there's a full lock turn. It does touch my leg, but but um, I th I think she she wants that that what they call the short reach bars. She wants that that effect, which uh, this will definitely give her. But she'll be here Monday. She's out of town, and uh, we'll uh, we'll sit downstairs and tweak it around. She may like it just where it's at. I've torqued everything down so she does. Whoa, utility work. Morning, morning. Smell tar. I don't see any tar stuff, but I definitely got a tar smell. Doing some uh, infrastructure repairs or advancements, something. You know, looking at these bars on, sitting on the bench, you know, when they were in pieces, I thought, that's about the most hideous thing I've ever seen. But on the bike, and as I'm riding, as I get back here a little bit so you can see everything, um, <laughs> they look great, actually. But because I, you know, the throttle was redone, and, uh, simple fact it's a brand new set of bars that are different from stock I felt it necessary to take this thing for a ride <laughs> the 24s just have a, a different spunk to them I say that every time I jump on one and ride I go wait nothing's advertised they still show the 115 horse and whatever the torque is but you know, it, it just feels different to me. It feels way more peppy. <laughs> Maybe they've, you know, updated some other things that it's not necessarily a horsepower or torque. It's just a drivability thing. Yeah, definitely a more responsive, refined feeling to them. Fit and finish is just absolutely superb. Oh, and this is the Hero 13 Black. You're most likely never going to see me motovlog with, with that Action 5 Pro. There's some, there's some chink in the armor there. One, I'm a, I'm, oh, those are absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm a pixel peeping fool. And one of the things I don't like is it's like over-processing the image. I think they're so obsessed with this HDR look where, you know, it doesn't blow the highlights but pulls the darks out. It's, it's to the point, it's almost... Uh, for a lack of better terms, I don't even know if that even makes any sense. But the word that comes to mind is a, is a muddy look to it. And if you, uh, wow, this thing runs absolutely fantastic. Um, so I noticed that, you know, even though it pulls, you know, it does good in the low light, it, it's more of a trick. It, and it it's literally an AI trick that's being a that's in play here and one of the things I noticed I go man I just the uh, this thing really breaks down not the GoPro the Action 5 it is pulling the you know you can see in the dark darker areas good but it's uh something's breaking down so one of the things I've got an app that I can run these things through so I'm looking up specs and stuff and so the maximum this thing I think the hero is somewhere around 120 130 gigabits per second I mean it it, it it pushes some data the files are massive absolutely massive and that's that's what I want the highest bit rate highest uh, you know 
I want the maximum high end of everything. I'll deal with it later, uh, but I want to start with every, all the information I can pull in the camera. And um, so I didn't didn't run. I think I ran. I, th I think it was getting somewhere around 120 megabits per second. So um, DJI is advertising 100 100 megabits. That's the highest um, uh, bit rate that it's pulling through. Well. I'm getting 79 to 82. It, you know, when you watch it, it fluctuates. You know, things are going on. It's, uh, yeah, that's like putting this thing in the, like, the base non-pro mode, you know. It just, you know, for a quick con consumption on a phone or not even an iPad, you know. It's like social media type stuff. You blow into this thing and look tight. Um, I mean, the GoPro doesn't do the dark stuff as good, and it is a smaller sensor, but it is way more clear. And the one thing that amazes me is I've watched several things where people are comparing the Action 5 to the GoPro, and I don't even know what mode I could put this GoPro in to make that thing look that bad. I mean, it looks horrible in their comparison things. But, you know, they start off, this was sent to me, or this is sponsored by DJI and whatnot. It's hard to find people that are just Joe Blows like me that didn't get to sent the thing for free. And, um, you know, just give a raving review. I've literally watched some reviews and bought cameras because of the BS I was fed. You know the uh, Insta360 uh, Go 3, you know that little white camera that has like a GoPro shape to it but you can pull the camera out and stick it in little tight places and stuff. I've got the Go 2 and <laughs> You're not working on that BMW, what's going on? <laughs> what are you doing? Did you just stop in? Yeah. I'd uh, I did her bars and the new throttle thing. I thought I'd take it for a ride. they just doing my normal little loop. <laughs> See you back at the shop. He's doing, there's a starter relay recall on the on the uh, 24 uh, 1300 GS's. And uh, he's knocking those things out. He was just downstairs grabbing the uh, the one that's infinitely waiting for the battery. He goes, oh, well, I guess I could do it. I said, oh, it runs. I just have the sensor out. I said, it actually is not even throwing anything saying that the sensor is not connected. It's just, I think it pops up thing every once in a while saying it's not being monitored or something. It's just a soft warning. But, uh, you anyway, know, last I seen him right before I left, he went upstairs with the, with the GS. He must have said, take his lunch break, which is cool. Uh, caught the boy out of the office. Gotta split those things like that. After a while when you ride a spot, it's like riding a a trike, conventional trike. You just uh, split it between the front wheel <laughs> and the rear wheels. In this case, between the front wheels and the rear wheel, you learn where it's at. You'll make a mistake every once in a while at first and, you know, clearing a pothole or something and boom. Well, I didn't put it in the middle. You know, you feel the rear wheel touch it. <laughs> that's, that's that diaper that we seen there the other day. It's still laying there. You know, I'm not a big fan of, of, of the bars being back at me like that, but... I gotta tell you, this is quite comfortable. Hello there, see this guy. You looking good today. <laughs> you looking good every day. I bet you didn't ride it yesterday. I didn't ride nothing either, so I wouldn't know if you did or not. Refined. That's what it feels like kind of look the same except for the 
fancy dash and stuff on there, but refined. Yeah, see that that comes and just touches my leg there. I'm okay with that. Let's do a roll back. Kick you in neutral. Maybe roll a little easier, not getting clutch drag. But um somebody asked what the price was on this thing. I have no idea. I gave you the address, ww dot uh healybars.com. But uh anyway. I'm sure they probably have them for the I've seen these on bikes before. Not totally sure I've seen them on a spider. I think I was telling somebody I've I've seen them before. But uh I was in my head I was thinking spiders, but I'm thinking, no, I think I've seen these on like uh FJ FJR thirteen hundreds or whatever they're called. FJ thirteen hundred, whatever. But I actually think they look good. A little busy, but good. But see, you, you have a pinch bolt somewhere, yeah, yeah, right there. And you can pivot this ball forward and aft as well. Oh, it's got the little mark. I bet it's got the marks right there too to make sure you you have them both sitting at the same spot. And of course, like I say, you probably get about that much movement out of it because there's a pin that comes up out of the um, the steering stem and that rides in that hole and there's just a slight movement in that hole slightly elongated beautiful absolutely beautiful I gave her a wipe down that thing had fingerprints literally everywhere on there I thought I didn't I make sure I don't touch stuff like that, you know, because I had to pull the side off, you know, and there's, well, you can grab them in a way that you don't put fingerprints on them, because, I mean, you can't clean them before you work on them, or, I mean, you could, but I just don't touch them. I don't want to, I don't want if it's dirty, they're going to leave just as dirty, but the fingerprints everywhere, I thought to myself, that's got to go, so I did wipe all the, all the body work down using a BMW spray polish cleaner it's like the Honda polish cleaner um, what's the thing in miracle whatever spirits whatever that thing is um, there's several different ones I really really like the young or BMW stuff but there we are I wanted to uh, show you the bars installed I did take a picture with the DJI, oh, the thumbnail I took of this thing when it's sitting on my bench, that was taken with the uh, DJI Action 5 Pro. But yeah, there's... People are saying there's a big software update coming. Or there should be. Maybe they'll fix some of those things, but uh, I don't like... I don't like how the picture looks. It's It doesn't look real. What you're seeing is what I'm seeing, and that's the way I set everything up. I want you to see and feel, hopefully, my goal. I watch them, you know, I preview before I render it, and I want you to see what I see. The sample stuff that I've showed you with that DJI Action 5 Pro, that's not real. That's not what it looks like. And it just seems to be hot. You know, everything's like, overexposed it's like they're so obsessed with pulling the darks out that everything has this washed out muddy look to it or especially in the dark the muddy meaning uh the uh the the quality of the image is breaking down it's like you shot it with an old camera or something now you can definitely get muddy looks out of a gopro when you get in the dark i mean it goes full muddy looking I don't expect, never have expected one of these to have that kind of uh, low light performance. And they don't. But I like what I see right here. You're seeing what I see. And that's what I want. I can't get that yet. I'm tweaking and playing with the thing, see, see what I can get pulled out of it. But um, impressed in certain ways because I can goof around inside the shop and stuff like the little pictures of the Riker that's all done with that um, a little orange kind of color it's not quite getting the white balance right but 
I blame the big window sitting there, but um, yeah, it's it's not the best. It's it's not the best image quality for for everything else. I don't know. We'll see. I don't plan on like returning it or anything, cause I bought it directly from DJI. I don't, so I don't even know how that would even work if I could even do that. But live in a shop full of guys with motorcycles they all love their cameras somebody's liable to like it if I decide I don't want it so <laughs> the wind's blowing you hear that there's a squirrel up there this needle is just all pouring down on top of me here look they're on the seat and everything down here look at this now I'm going to have to go blow the thing off it's all over the floorboards and everything probably a big old squirrel <laughs> park brakes it's a bad thing about working all these now I'm going to that GS next to figure out why why she don't start and she's got a mechanical park brake on the left rear <laughs> and I got to figure that thing out too because it's all janky but keys they have to be adjusted right in that little locking paw thing in there and all that needs to be lubed I reach in there and blast them with a because fogging oil sticks really well and it lasts a long time so I, I lube them with fogging oil they need it I would say once a year at least out here it was supposed to rain again today not complaining my watch and phone say rain in eight days so we're good to go unless the weather suddenly changes for the all the good it does it can also flip around and do some bad on it so the Healy bars um, I don't know what they cost I'll have to look them up myself but uh, the adjustability in these things is uh, is pretty impressive. If you're doing it on a 24, follow those instructions explicitly. Bef don't try the pull. You gotta you gotta cut that that zip tie down underneath here. Um, I pull the whole panel off. I can get under that way, and um, because you're gonna need to pull that pull those things pull that zip tie loose and move them where so these things free up and you can pull them out without yanking and uh take the bag everything up take the the handlebar clamps off once you get the switch clusters loose get them all undone and then take the bars and rock them one way slide one off rock them the other way slide the other one off and then you're going to mount you know obviously not going to put them back on the stock bars you're going to mount these bars inside here and then they're like the old spiders you know they're just going to dangle down till you're ready boop, stick them in you can see this one's farther forward it, it locks in a groove so you know so they can't come out if if they were to leave them loose but nice really nice i'm impressed well hello there you two here we are again just getting home putting the car away coming out doing a goodbye vlog yeah the sun is almost down yeah it's crazy 7.59 so 6.59 .59. so no more the 8 o'clock things already been gone for a while yeah and then now no more 7 o'clock no not it gets, next year it gets close to 6 that's when the time changes and then it goes from 6 o'clock sunset to 5 o'clock sunset and then the winter begins oh yeah the Doom darkness the darkness forever <laughs> oh well it's just part of the cycle just the summer part just never seems to last long enough, no. enough even though it was a very nice summer it was but what do you guys think of the longer videos do you like these longer ones or <coughs> you want to keep them shorter because i had looked at what i'd already filmed already i'm thinking i don't know if i want to cut a whole bunch of that out to try to make it fit we'll see if it, it's a normal length uh, i figured a way to cut it otherwise i just let her let her run long there you go. But on that, we're going to bounce. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Thank you.
We'll see you then. Yes. On Friday. See you in the morning. Yeah, buddy. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>